Today we're going to talk about charging by induction. Recall, when a charged object is brought close to but not touching a neutral object, the electrons will either move towards or away from the charged object. This causes one side of the object to become negatively charged and the other side to become positively charged. We call this the induced charge separation. It can either be temporary or permanent. So as we saw in our animation here, we have a, a negative object being brought towards a neutral object and the electrons are moving away from the negative object because it has more electrons than um, protons here or positive charges and it wants to move away because it is repelled by those negative charges. So again, watching how it will move away from the negative object. And this is inducing a charge separation with a temporary or permanent positive end or negative end. And we're going to look at the scenarios in which we can make temporary or permanent cases. So first we're looking at temporary induction. When we have a charged object brought close to but not touching a neutral object, the electrons in the neutral object will move either away from or towards the charged object. Once the charged object is moved away, electrons in the neutral object return to their original positions, back to neutral. Since this is neutral again, it was only temporary. We can permanently induce a charge in an object by grounding the object whose charge has been separated. When we have a negatively charged object near, the repelled electrons leave the neutral objects through the ground. Noticing here, we have our symbol for grounding. So as we brought this negative object towards our neutral object, we had that induced charge separation. Electrons are going to move through the grounding to get to the ground. Once a grounding wire and charged object is removed, the once neutral object is now positively charged. We have lost some electrons, so overall, this one is more positive. Okay, so we're going to look at a different case if we have a positive object and we bring it close to our neutral object, we're going to uh, repel electrons leaving a induced charge separation here, and we have grounding. So we're gonna look at what happens here. So this animation is incorrect, um, just the way that the electrons are moving. When you have something that is positive coming towards the neutral object, you want to um, counteract those positives so the electrons actually come up, not go down. Okay, so we can see here that electrons were coming into this object. Now I have more electrons than before. So these three should have been staying um, in this neutral object. And we added three more, but we're coming up from the ground when we have an, a positive charged object near. Once a grounding wire and charged object is removed, the once neutral object is now negatively charged because we brought up those electrons from the ground through the grounding wire. When objects are permanently charged by induction, the induced charge is always opposite of that charged object. So if I bring a positive object near my neutral object and I have a grounding wire, I will produce once neutral becomes negative, the opposite of what we started with. Okay, so we can, I think we'll save this one for another video. Thank you for watching.